Hey guys, it's Jess and I am doing a little impromptu Mother's Day reading for you guys today. So um, I have already shuffled and drawn out the cards and today we are using the Nature's Whispers Oracle by Angela Hartfield with art done by Josephine Wall. So um, the first card, um, the uh, placement of it is the things that you need to honor in yourself. We have culmination of vision. So the things that you need, and this is, I would like to mention, um, this isn't just for people who are currently mothers, but also women who um, perhaps decided that they didn't want to be mothers, that they felt like they would be better as um, sending their nurturing energy out into the world in another way. Um, this could be for women who have tried and failed to have children. This could be for women who have already had children but they passed away or miscarried or other things like that. Basically, if you have ever desired to be a nurturing force in the world in some capacity, then this reading is for you because I really believe that Mother's Day isn't just about the people who give birth to and bear children. It is about also the people who help to mother the energies of the world, to nurture it, to help it to grow, to teach it, to guide it, all that kind of stuff. If you believe that you are someone who is like that, then this reading is for you today. So culmination of vision is the first card, and this is the um, things that you need to honor in yourself. This is your ability to see a goal, to envision an end result, and to get shit done. This is you honoring the fact that maybe it takes time for you to decide what it is that you want to do, but when you decide it and you envision it, you know how to do it, you know how to make it happen. This is a card that speaks to honoring the fact that you are a creative force in this world and that you are able to not just make art or make children or make you know, other projects. This is your ability to just make things happen in general, to shift the energies, to change things in your life, and to see the results of those changes happen all around you. The second card is, um, the placement is, the things that we need to honor in other people. And we have illumination. And this card really makes me think of almost the hanged man uh, from the tarot deck in a way. To um, look at other people as a source for inspiration. To honor other people's perspectives and stories, choices, lifestyles, um, to just honor and, and see their world, see the world from their perspective, to shift yourself out of your own ideas and opinions and try to look at things from another perspective, the way that somebody else would, because that really allows you to see the world in a whole new way. And when we take ourselves out of our own perspectives and shift it to somebody else's, we really can achieve illumination. The next two cards are just general advice on how to enjoy Mother's Day. And this is particularly if um, you uh, are not a mother or if you're having a hard time with Mother's Day. The first card is pause, which I don't think could be any more appropriate for Mother's Day. Pause reminds us that we don't always have to be doing. As women, we are cyclical in nature, in hormones, in everything, even if we're no longer menstruating or never have. We still have hormonal fluxes and changes in our bodies that move along with a natural rhythm and cycle. And we naturally are meant to pause at certain points during that cycle. Mother's Day can just be a really good Gregorian calendar reminder that we don't always have to be doing everything, whether that's nurturing the children or your husband or your spouse or your partner or the people in the world around you. Today is a day that you do get to take a chance and pause, even if it's only for a little while, pause reflect on 
what nurturing other people or other things in whatever capacity you're doing it in, reflect on what that means for you, what it takes out of you, and how you can best replenish yourself in order to continue to do it when you do have those hormonal and energetic highs when you are able to produce more. Taking time to nurture yourself is not just wise, it's necessary. The last card that we have is be in service. And that's what nurturers are. We are in service to other people. And we need to remind ourselves how good that generosity of spirit, how much that giving can really mean for us. Today really highlights that for a lot of people. It reminds you why you clean up Cheerios and milk off the floor a couple of times a week or why you get up at six o'clock in the morning to go do that job that's hard but necessary. You know, it, being in service is not something that everybody is capable of being. And if you are in service, whether it's just to your own children or to your own partners, or whether it's just something that is so much bigger and, you know, um, more enormous, you know, so much more than just your own circle of people. When you get up every day and you are in service to other people, you are part of the forces that are changing this world. And today is a day that you get to honor yourself for that. And so I thank you for the services that you do, whatever they are. And I see them and I honor them. And I hope that you guys all have a wonderful Mother's Day. Bye.